guys. Good morning. It's me, Callie. How are you all? It's a rainy day here today in upstate New York, and I'm definitely feeling it. Um, my plans today are going to be just nesting in the house, probably working on some artwork, and maybe making something to eat. And there's definitely going to be a nap involved. It's just that kind of a day. I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know what's been going on since Wednesday. Um, I did not go to the auction last night again, two weeks in a row. So don't have anything to show you there. But um, it's been a roller coaster week, you know. Um, again, thank you guys so much for your prayers and blessings for my mom. We've got some tentative good news, and that was quickly followed with some. Um, very serious news. So my sister and I went over to see her again yesterday and she's still very much here and with us and um, we're making plans for lunch and soap making and everything else, but it's been a roller coaster. Um, you guys know I'm an RN and I've dealt with a lot of death. I didn't mean to get emotional. Wow, already. I'm one minute in the video, uh, but I've never dealt with it with my mother before, right? So we all go through these stages in life and this is one of them. So I hesitate to, I don't want to be a big bummer when I come on my channel, but I keep it real with you guys. And this is what I've been dealing with this week and will be dealing with. So I'm very, very blessed and happy to have the time that we have remaining together. And I want to make the most of it. And just drives home the point that I always try to make, that every minute is precious, you know. Um, we all have to say goodbye to loved ones. And this is what strengthens us and makes us grow. And it's, you know, just a circle, right? So, anyway, there you go. That's where I'm at this morning. So, it's been hard to concentrate on anything really and uh as far as like making art videos and stuff I just my muse has taken a vacation this week so um I know that it is exactly what I need though and I have been doing a few things oh and by the way blessed Beltane um for those of you who celebrate for those of you who don't happy May Day happy spring happy flowers and love and renewal again and I'm not doing anything today to celebrate uh in the past I told you I've gone to uh the center for symbolic studies for some Beltane celebrations I've done solitary gatherings I've done gatherings with others uh in the past I'm not going to be doing anything today other than recognizing and um giving thanks. So very low key today. Um, Tom and Nick are upstate visiting Tom's mom and Mother's Day in the United States is next week, I think, or in the next two weeks, but every day should be Mother's Day, right? We don't need Hallmark to tell us, um, that we love each other. And so I love you guys and, um, yeah, happy Beltane. So, uh, light the fires and dance around the maypole and, um, just, I'm so thankful for each and every one of you guys, right? Uh, what else? I heard from my son this morning. That was nice. Um, you guys know I have three grown children. And usually when I don't hear from, you know, things are good, <laughs> I, I don't worry. And so it was just a nice hello, good morning, I love you call. And I'm going to go see him and my his son, my grandson, Sean, um, who I don't get to see often enough or hadn't in the past, and I'm going to make that change. So going forward, I'm setting that intention. Um, but we're going to go check out. He's got a baseball practice, and my grandson Carter has like five baseball practices this coming week. They're trying to catch up. So I'll be outside cheering on from the sidelines a lot of Little League softball, which is always fun to watch. But um, just that was so good and I needed it uh, this morning. It touched my heart and I'm looking forward to that. So I'll let you know how that goes. And what else is happening this week? Uh, I'm going to have Sylvia over for lunch uh, on Wednesday. So for What's Up Wednesday, um, I'll have her say hi. And I think uh, Tom's going to join us too. So that'll be good. 
that's always good for my soul. Um, and we do our regular Tuesday night Indian food dinner. And I invited Patty to join us on Tuesday if she wants to. Um, it was funny last week. For those of you who follow me on Facebook, I'll post my what I'm eating or things like that kind of stuff. And I made some of my um, spring Thai rolls. And I posted a picture on Facebook. And my friend Patty, the funky hippie chic boutique girl um, and friend of mine, first and foremost, said something like, I want some, you know. And I had already planned on dropping in to see her because it had been a while since I've said hi. And uh, I had been wrapping them up as she was saying that. So I brought them over. It was good to see her and just reconnect for a couple hours. And um, that's good for my soul, too. So she was mentioning that she noticed I've been going out for Indian food on Tuesday nights. And I in invited her to join us. So... Um, that's good. And you guys saw on Wednesday when Tom and I went to Heaven on Earth uh, in Pine Bush, New York, the natural food store, which to me is um, new. I did a haul of some stuff and I haven't tried everything yet. I did try the diet cheese, which someone asked me about. I haven't melted it yet, but we did eat it um, and it tasted delicious. It tasted just like a mild cheddar. Um, very, very good. I had it on those rice crackers, which were amazing, with that fake pepperoni, which, look, I know it's not pepperoni, okay? But it's tasty enough. And again, I try to stay away from processed foods of any kind, natural or not. But making the transition uh, it sometimes is easier. And again, I'm seeing Tom get excited about a lot of these new vegan options, so... If he likes it, I love it. I'm really excited to sh be sharing that with him. So um, I've been looking for cheese substitutes. Again, I have the mozzarella shreds in there that I want to try. Um, so we tried the cheese, tried the pepperoni. The rice crackers were amazing. Um, what else did we get? Those beef tips. I made a version of, shout out again, to Asian vegan mommy Tang. I've been binge watching her videos and she had a bulgogi recipe, which is like um, beef. She does all vegan recipes, but so like fake beef with um, veggies in like a sauce. And I made a version of that recipe, but I used, she doesn't use measurements, which I love because that's how I cook too. But if it's my first time trying a recipe, I do like to know precise measurements so I think I put a little too much rice wine in, in the recipe. It was a little too, it wasn't the way I wanted it, but I will perfect it. Um, and speaking of that, I am blessed to have a Korean market in my neighborhood, which is like the strangest thing, but it's been there for like probably 10 years now. And Tom and I, I think I've brought you guys with me, have gone there to get miso soup and their spring rolls and things like that. Well, from watching... Mommy Tang, she talks all the time, and so does High Carb Hannah. Shout out to High Carb Hannah and Derek, too. I always give them a thumbs up. Um, Mommy Tang swears by this gochujang, and it is a red pepper paste, very spicy uh, Korean red pepper paste, and I bought my very first gochujang, and I was so happy to go in there, and I was like, do you have any gochujang, you know, and he went right to it. And so I'm so excited um, to be using this. And I also got, because I'm a huge miso soup fan, but only from this particular Korean restaurant uh, market. Normally the ones that I have tried are too seaweedy or not good, but I want to try to make my own miso soup. So I got a big thing of organic miso and I need to go shopping again. When Tom gets back, we'll go. I need to get some tofu and bok choy and broccoli and things like that. It's time to make another produce run. But I was super excited to get these at my local market. So even though, you know, I always talk about Walmart and everything else, there really are uh, smaller locally, you know, stores around me that I can utilize. This uh, Korean market also has um, a huge selection of natural foods and um, you know, everything that, and more that I need really. So super excited to be trying some new recipes. 
And I've been, oh, I, I've got those red lentils, which I want to do. I want to redo uh, Lydia Lunches. You guys saw I did a, v, a vegan version. Well, it is vegan. A version of Lydia Lunches red lentil curry. But when I posted the recipe, I did it with regular lentils, not red lentils. Well, now I have red lentils, so I want to redo the recipe. But um, what kind of recipes would you guys want to see? I was thinking of doing a version of how I do my homemade marinara sauce. Um, so I love Italian food too, but lately I've been just eating Indian and Asian, a lot of Asian food. Um, but let me know what kind of recipes you'd be interested in seeing from me. Um, and even if it's a traditional uh, recipe, I'd be, I can, you can veganize anything. So don't be afraid to put down your standard favorites. I'll try to veganize them too. So um, that could be fun and interesting. <laughs> Um, what else? I'm just worn out. I'm, I'm sorry, you guys. I almost thought about not even doing this video today, but I was like, you know what? Just get her done. So, um, I'm looking down at my notes. What else? Oh, also, um, speaking of High Carb Hannah and Derek and a, a lot of other people, they do an unboxing video from Vegan Cuts, which is, a, you know, like a makeup box subscription, but it's vegan snacks and vegan foods and things like that. They also do have a beauty box, too. I really can't afford to do monthly subscriptions, you guys. Truth be told, even an extra $20 a month is a lot of money for me right now. It is what it is. But I do like to try new products. I was very intrigued to try this. So I'm going to be signing up for a Vegan Cuts snack box subscription uh, starting in May and I'll do the unboxings here and I'll try them on camera um, so you guys can see my reactions to them and things like that. I thought about doing their beauty box but honestly you guys with my Kamari purging which I'll get done this week, month, year um, and things I don't want to be I have so much of that stuff so as I'm using up the makeup and products that I have, I'm replacing them with cruelty-free vegan versions. But I don't want to start introducing a whole bunch more of sample size products and things. It just gets out of hand. I wound up with baskets and bottles full. You guys saw when I did my bathroom purge. Um, and check out my Kamari video playlist if you haven't seen it. So, yeah, I'm going to start the Vegan Cut subscription. And that should be fun. And what else is going on? Oh my gosh, you guys, I was heartbroken this week. They, they, I think I shared with you guys on Wednesday that I was, as I was leaving my house, the gardener was coming, cutting my uh, bushes and rhododendrons down or trimming them around my deck. Well, you guys, I came home and I was heartbroken. I have to be honest. I mean, no offense to the gardener. He's just doing what I think the landlord wanted, but I, I'm so empathetic. I swear to God, I could feel these plants pain. I, he cut so much to me. They now look like Dr. Seuss trees, you know, like the truffle trees or whatever they're called. I, I, everything that I liked about the plants that, you know, they covered my deck. They're about to burst into bloom at any minute. It's going to look like, it was going to look like Hawaii paradise on my porch. He's chopped them. It's the absolute wrong time of the year. I'm going to rant. Wrong time of the year to do this. You're supposed to do it after they bloom. I, I just, I, I wanted to cry. I think I did cry a little bit. I was just heartbroken. <sighs> Have I told you I missed my garden? the one thing, only thing that I miss about living here. I love living here, you know, besides obviously if I have my own place, which I will have my own place one day. Tom and I will have our own place on a beautiful piece of land with a waterfall and a stream and a garden and woods and a off-the-grid, hand-sculpted... It's funny, I heard... Who was, who was talking the other day? I think it was Teresa talking about um, that she wanted a tree house. That's always been a dream of mine, too, um, to incorporate that in your home. To You know, that's my dream. So I'll have that one day. But right now I don't, and I pay rent. And part of your paying rent, you get, long, you know, maintenance of the area. And don't get me wrong, I love my landlords. 
They take immaculate care of this place. If I need something done, they're here in a heartbeat. It's You've seen, I've shown you glimpses of outside. It's gorgeous here. But I wanted to cry. I did my rhododendron bushes. Okay, I'm done. But I'll show you guys. When I do, a, after I'm done planting again, which I was kind of hoping I could do today. Um, but it is so rainy and I'm just going to... Maybe I'll even put my pajamas back on and just, it's that kind of a day. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to try to bring you down here, guys. It is what it is. So that's that. Um, all, you know, good things, right? Life is good. You need the rain to make a rainbow, right? It can't all be sunshine, lollipops, and rainbows. I get it. You know, life is like this, but it makes you appreciate when it's not, right? So there we go. Uh, I'm still, <laughs> believe it or not, and I told you I can't really focus, but I'm still uh, plotting away at book three of the Dark Tower series. I told you guys this is my second time around reading this series, and I haven't been doing a lot of reading, but I'm getting through it again, and I will go through and finish the whole series again, and it's nice to be able to get lost. I love Steven. He's my favorite, um, I don't want to call him horror He's my favorite author. That's it. He's my favorite author, regardless of the genre. Um, basically, I would read his shopping list if he wrote it. But anyway, so that's still hanging on. And I'll show you. I There's a few things that I've been lax on also. Oh, gee. Number one, comments. I need to get back to uh, answering some comments this week. And I apologize again. I'm always apologizing for this. But if you have not yet uh, heard back from me, you will. And thank you for your patience. I always tell you, and I can't tell you enough, how much I appreciate all the love and support. I just, it means the world to me. Each and every one of you. I read every comment. Um, I thumbs them all up. But anyway, zip it, Callie. Um, I will get back to that. And also, I have some uh, people that I owe, uh, some, not owe, that I would like to reciprocate with some happy mail. Uh, as well as maybe some random acts of kindness. Um, I got a notice uh, recently about joining in on a, a project, and it was a little too short of a time period, but I hope to be doing that again. But always good to spread the love um, however you can, right? So even if I don't, and you guys know, I mean, I watch all of you. I always give a thumbs up. Um, I may not always comment on your videos, but I'm watching and I'm spreading the love however we can. So if you send me happy mail, I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times, I will always reciprocate. And I decided to work on some postcards this week just on random uh, Cracker Box cardboard. Cracker Box cardboard. Um, and I just, I cut these down after I had uh, been working on them. I'm not done with them yet, but... There's tons of texture on these. Uh, this is that homemade texture paste that I made out of baby powder, Mod Podge, acrylic paint, and cornstarch. So, again, I'm not done with these, but these are the postcards I'll be working on to send out um, in some happy mail. And also, oh, I had talked about the, excuse me, I need some coffee. Remember I showed you on Wednesday the new beads um, that I was making chakra strands, rainbow strands of beads. Um, I, I have a ton of spools of nylon filament and beading um, string, if you will, but I've run out of beading wire and I really prefer to use beading wire in my projects. Uh, because it's easier to get the seed beads on. You don't have to use a needle, obviously, and it's just, I prefer it. So anyway, I have placed an order on Amazon, so that project's on hold, um, but I will show you guys what I'm planning to do with that. Definitely inspired by a post I saw on uh, Pinterest, which, <laughs> who doesn't get lost in Pinterest? And yeah, there's some, there are things I want to be doing. I I need to finish the other chair or start to start and finish the other painted chair uh, from my dining room table. And there's also a two-tiered small shelf 
that I have on my uh, dresser in my bedroom that's just plain wood, which I love plain wood. You guys know I'm a Virgo. I'm an earth sign. I love earth tones. You know, in addition, you know, obviously I love my purple. You guys know, right? But I love earth tones and things like that. So I, I love a lot of natural wood furniture and things. But lately, if I look at it long enough, I want to paint it and funk it. So uh, I have my eye on doing some possible funky painting to that shelf as well. And those kinds of things are hard, although I was able to do it with the chair. It's a little more difficult to do a video on because I don't know really what my process ever is. I should be quiet. Um, so anyway, that's something I want to work on, but that could be months from now. Who knows? One other thing that I wanted to, because you guys know, before I know it, you know, it's already May 1st, right? In two weeks, it'll be the 15th, and I'll have a Gypsy and the Witch page due. There'll be a new Mike Deacon, he probably posted it already, a Mission Inspiration page coming out. Um, but I decided to start yet another uh, art journal, and I haven't done one in a while just for no other purpose than to do one. And for those of you who've been around a while, know that last year I did, I think for nine months, I may have made it 10 months, but for the first nine months of the year at least, I did a different version of uh, an art journal, of a homemade art journal. So I did an altered book, I did a magazine, I did a junk mail journal, I did a cereal box journal, um, I did all those kinds of things, right? So I haven't done one of those kinds of things in a while. And I remembered, and those of you may remember, that at the auction, I had gotten these old, I have two of them, these old uh, photo albums. And they were filled with pictures from like the 1940s, which I wound up putting in a bag and dropping off with things at the United Way. I couldn't throw them out. Anyway, so, and they're just, I took the pages out, but it's this old paper, and they're separated by, you know, tissue paper, right? So, this is, you know, old leather, and again, I wouldn't buy leather now, but I have things, and I will utilize them. They're, you know, hardcore, heavy-duty binding, I thought, perfect for an art journal. So, I decided to start one. And I actually started this on the night that we just got more bad news from my mom. And I thought that this will definitely help me through uh, what I'm going through now and how timely. So for whatever the reason, I've decided to start and I just kind of jumped right in. And again, just like the postcards, this is nowhere near done, but I've started... Um, working on a page. I did not film any of this. Um, I decided that I just wanted to just go and experience the process. So, um, yeah, I'll keep you updated on how this goes, if it goes, um, and where it goes, right? But it does help. Music always helps me and art, obviously, and that's no great secret because we all know that, right? Whatever gets you through the night, guys. Um, I think that's all I have to share with you. I'm going to say goodbye for now. Say see you later for now. Tell you all that I love you so much. Um, my mom taught me that. That's the uh, American Sign Language symbol for I love you. And not like rock on, heavy metal, right? Uh, so I love you. And did, I remember uh, Carol Burnett used to pull her ear. That was for her grandmother. That means I love you. So... Um, this means I love you, and I love you guys, and I will keep you posted, and you'll see me on Wednesday, if not sooner, and stay tuned. There will be art or cooking or something. Let me know what you want me to cook. Um, yeah, ha happy Beltane. I love you guys. Okay.